Happy New Year, everybody. The calendar may now say 2018, but we're still talking about the cold here. Relentless cold reinforced through tomorrow. A little break in the intense chill for Wednesday and Thursday, but what I'm tracking on Thursday is a big coastal storm. It's going to pack a punch here out over the ocean, and the question is how close does it come to New England? Areas of snow are likely with a mix possible in southeastern Massachusetts here, depending on the track of the storm. We're going to talk more about that in a second. Meantime, today, frigid sun, wind chill. Minus 5 to minus 15, even at the warmest time of the day. 13 in Boston, but record cold high temperatures possible in some other spots, Worcester, for example. And some localized ocean effect on the outer cape, by the way, may cause some slick spots and reduce visibility through the late morning and afternoon hours. Clear and frigid. Sub zero wind chill again tonight. Tomorrow, teens to around 20. So it won't be quite as cold. The wind chill will be either side of zero for most of the day for our Tuesday. Wednesday, the clouds increase, the wind lighter. It won't feel as brutal. Temperatures climb into the upper 20s. And then pre dawn when, uh, Thursday, we see snow develop. Notice all the moisture out over the ocean. This storm is going to intensify rapidly as it passes east of New England. The question is, how close does it come? So if it tracks a little bit closer, it will be a heavier snow here through the interior, but some mix at the coast. Either way, it looks like it would be in and out of here during the day on Thursday with just some leftover light snow showers Friday morning. So the bulk of the storm activity would be Thursday. A plowable event seems likely at this point. Just too early to say amounts, though, because of the uncertainty in that track. Some mixing possible southeast. This storm, too, will contain a strong onshore wind. Some gusts over 40 miles per hour are likely at the coastline. That may cause some isolated pockets of damage. And that will also mean a coastal flooding threat here with high astronomical tides due to the supermoon, which is full later on this evening, by the way. So that's that's one stormy period here in the seven day forecast. Behind it, another blast of Arctic air. Could be even colder than the one we've just been experiencing with highs only in the teens and single digits for Friday through the weekend. More record cold high temperatures and low temperatures possible in this stretch. See you again for WBZ this morning, tomorrow morning at 4 30.